Welcome to Mastering the Supply Chain. Exploring the Fundamentals Hi, in this video we are going to look into a very specific phenomenon related to market demand and with an enormous impact on our operations and supply chains. I typically refer to it as the B word. The phenomenon is called the bullwhip effect and even though the use of the expression bullwhip itself is often limited to people from the supply chain area, its effects frequently appear in the news. Sometimes it appears in relation to very ordinary products. Sometimes in relation to global commodities. Sometimes it is even connected to political issues. And more recently we have seen how the bullwhip works if a global pandemic is at play. Already in the late 1950s Jay Forrester coined the bullwhip effect, sometimes also called the Forrester effect. It states that a small variation of demand at the so-called downstream consumer level in the supply chain will lead to large variations of demand at the upstream level, where manufacturing or raw materials are located. The bullwhip effect has been widely documented, for example in the famous Barilla case by Harvard Business School. It tells the story of widely variable demand of pasta in Italy when it comes to distribution orders to Barilla's central warehouse, whereas one would expect that pasta consumption in Italy should be fairly stable. Research by Stanford professor Hao Lee in the 1990s showed a similar case for diapers from the brand Procter & Gamble. The famous beer game board simulation for use in class also demonstrates the same results. Small swings of demand at the end of the chain lead to wide swings of demand at the beginning. There are very diverse causes for which the bullwhip effect occurs. Some have to do with the structure of supply chains, some have to do with the way our systems are programmed and some have to do with human behavior. For the sake of learning, I will stimulate you to put some research and thinking into answering the question as to what those specific causes could be. Important is to see that ultimately the bullwhip effect causes variability and in most cases also a lot of uncertainty in demand. Which brings us to the reflections you can do after watching the video. What are the main causes for the bullwhip to occur? What are the main negative consequences of the bullwhip effect? What can be done to mitigate the bullwhip effect? And what can be done to reduce or even eliminate the bullwhip effect?